this whole thing, comedy thing is. Uh, the Bill Mars, Letterman's Daily Show, Saturday Night Live have an effect? Oh, it helps to be relaxed in front of the American people. John McCain had a great night at the Al Smith dinner. Sarah Palin had a great night on uh, Saturday night. And I think that uh, uh, Senator Obama's playing in the prevent defense, and it's sad that he has to go to Hawaii now to be with his grandmother and prayers for her recovery. But I think it's good to be out there in every setting, both serious and relaxed, and proving that you can connect with people. And she did, as she has with the Republican base again and again. So a great weekend for uh, McCain Palin. And I think what you see in the polls, with one exception, is a closing of this race as Americans tune in and they like what they see. All okay. four of the candidates are good people, and I think that Sarah Palin helped reinforce her relaxed nature on the weekend. Stephanie, what do you make of comedy and Wow. This? As usual with Hugh, that is completely the opposite, I think, of what's true, Hugh, and with all due respect. Um, I think Sarah Palin clearly didn't get that they were laughing at her on Saturday Night Live. Clearly, Tina Fey didn't want to be in the same sketch with her. You know when the stuffed moose gets shot, that's the biggest laugh line? <laughs> that something has gone wrong. The polls are all heading in Barack Obama's favor. And I think once you become a punchline, Larry, uh, on late night television, you're done. And Sarah Palin is done. Stephen, do you feel your candidate is, is way behind? Uh, obviously not. I just find that last statement about uh, truth to be very interesting when Joe Biden, with his own mouth, said it was, in fact, John McCain not too long ago that would make a better president than Barack Obama. So I, I just think, uh, you know, when it comes to truth, that's an interesting statement. But that wasn't the question. Oh, I'm sorry. What was the question? The question is, do you think your candidate is far behind? No, I don't think he's far behind at all. Do you think it's a close race? Oh, it's going to be a very close race. And if you look historically uh, at situations like this, I think uh, a lot of people are going to be surprised with the underdog. Nancy, what do you think? I don't think it's a close race. I look at it the same way that Barack Obama does. I mean, nobody wants to get a little too excited and uh, ready to say it's over now because the minute that happens, that means voters don't go and people feel like it's a lock and they stay home. You know, one of the things that's really confusing is all the polling data that's out there. It, look, it, it has to do with what voters are saying and what they're thinking. It's not as much what states might be going one way or the other. And I think people who just kind of look at polling data in a relaxed fashion might go, oh, Obama's clearly in ahead. Oh, we don't have to go. Not realizing that it's not the popular vote, but it's the, um, you know, the, oh, gosh, I'm blanking. You know, the well, there are 51 electoral votes college. In the 51 states. That's what Exactly, gets. exactly, exactly. So I, right. I don't think it's close, but I'll feel calmer once all the votes are counted and counted properly. And Hugh, uh, how do you feel? Well, today the Rasmussen poll, which I think is the best, was four points trending in uh, McCain's direction. Over the weekend, Zogby Reuters was 2.7. That ticked in Obama's favor today up a point. But I think if you look at all of them in the realclearpolitics.com aggregation of the polls, Stephanie, you should check some facts once in a while. It's down to five ah. points, and it's moving in the right direction over the next two weeks. I know. He's a, McCain's like, got us right where he wants Hold them. Hold on. Let him finish. And so Sorry, what, all, all I say is just look at the facts, and the facts show a trend towards McCain Palin. And, in fact, Joe Biden, over this weekend, made a statement in Seattle that within six months, if Obama is president, he'll be tested by foreign enemies of the United States. I want to thank Senator Biden for focusing again on the most important issue, which was we have a looming confrontation with Iran, and we have a great opportunity to select the commander-in-chief, and I think that's going to help McCain in the closing sprint. Absolutely. I don't. Stephanie? Um, you know, Hugh, I, I'm not sure which polls you're looking at, but they're all moving. The electoral map, the state by state, the national polls are all... Gallup is up to 11 points today. So there is something uh, happening. I you guess know, the question... That reflects what Colin Powell Hugh, said this the weekend. The question is, what blue states of four years ago, what blue states will, will McCain win? Uh, um, New Hampshire is probably his best chance to win a blue state, but the fact uh, is... What red states will Obama win? Uh, Obama is ahead pretty significantly in New Mexico right now and Iowa. But if, in fact, Obama takes New Mexico and Iowa and McCain takes New Hampshire and holds the red state, McCain is the next president. This is the analysis that most of the professionals are focused on. And again, Stephanie, it's spelled R-A-S-M-U-S-S-E-N dot org. Go look at it. It's four points today. Okay, well, Gallup is 11 points, but, I, you know, I think we see what the trend is. I know, as, as McCain says, he, uh, he's got Obama right where he wants him. So uh, good luck to him. And I'd also like to add that I think by the, uh, the emotion and the tenor of the McCain campaign, you can tell they feel like they're the underdog because literally this is beyond kitchen sink. This is the, the refrigerator contents that are being thrown Barack Obama's way. Right. I mean, Let each me day a... it's more desperate. Oh, sorry. 
I've got to get a break, Nancy, and we'll come right back. And when we come right back, we'll take a look, a look at Sarah uh, uh, Palin's role in this campaign. And can we expect the nastiness to increase in the last two weeks after the break?